Hi guys, it's Meswan for the 22nd episode of uh, Genova Beats. Today's episode will be a little bit special because I'll be uh, speaking in English during the entire video. I want to try and see if I can reach a wider audience this way. And for those who don't know, Genova Beats is a web series that uh, showed the process I go through while uh, composing a beat. And uh, at the end, there's always a performance by uh, an artist that would have uh, discovered the beat, written on it and um, recorded and all that on the same day in my studio. So without further ado, let's see how I compose the beat for today's guest, who will be Anne-Sophie Terchan. The idea was to make something, uh, a composition that would be so full, that would have some changes during the time and uh, a nice and catchy bass line. So with those three uh, things in mind, I started like looking for different instruments and I had like one piano, uh, a string section and uh, a synthesizer and I found a chord progression that uh, went like this I thought the piano with the same chord progression could uh, feel perfectly like the the holes that you can uh, hear in this uh, chord progression and together piano with string section it sounded like this What I wanted to do next was to duplicate the piano uh, chord progression and uh, play it with the synthesizer I had uh, prepared. But by accident, I uh, put it a little bit uh, out of uh, with a different timing and played. I thought the time difference was uh, really interesting. For now, it sounded clustered but uh, with some cleaning in the chord progression and removing some notes in the, the second piano I had uh, created, I thought it would sound really interesting. And this will help me for the, the main melody, which will be played by the bass. This part of the bass line it inspired me a transition with the string section that would come just at the end like this we can say it was like the introduction or the the chorus maybe and for the next uh, section I wanted something a little bit more bouncy Usually I tend to stack a lot of uh, sounds together, like many snares, to make uh, something really uh, unique. But this time the sounds were really unique by themselves, so I had something like this. Sometimes I wanted to have like some uh, kind of voice or elements that would come out of, uh, of the silence and appear just to underline a specific uh, kick. And the idea came from uh, a song I had in mind that was made by Audio Push. The song is uh, Shine. And in there, there was a sample from the, the Janet Jackson song called uh, I Get Lonely. My interpretation of, uh, or my recreation of that sound is kind of uh, a uh, guitar, a funky guitar sound that sounded like this. I put it with the, the drums and I had something like... Drums, okay. And to give a little bit more spacey and colors, I used the, the piano that uh, you heard previously. So 
that was the composition I presented to uh, Anne-Sophie Tarshan and her co-writer Chris Zola, and here is the performance that came out of it. Sometimes I tell myself what is going on oh, When I try to call you on the telephone oh, I know you're out downtown and you don't even respond oh, You're so immature, don't waste my time, come on So that was Anne Sophie's performance. If you want to know more, I'm gonna leave the links to her uh, social medias on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, YouTube. And uh, next week there will be an interview uh, from uh, her, and you will have a, little, a lot more uh, details about her career, her projects, her uh, inspiration, and, and so on. Special thanks to Chase, who are a digital media really active in the Flemish region. They are a diffusion partner for the episode. And uh, that's another reason why I spoke English during the, this video. So let me know if you liked it in English or if I should stick to French. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, to subscribe to my uh, Facebook page in order to get a notification once uh, another episode is uh, out. And uh, see you next week for the next video. <laughs>